welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica and I am the founder and creator of Jerusalem Vintage. Hello again. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily update an old bedroom set with some paint and a little bit of love. I have a 12-year-old sister and she's been asking her parents for a teen bedroom set. In her own words, something that will last her until college. We looked around Facebook Marketplace for a while until we found this beautiful Thomasville set for free. Okay, so let's do some prep work. Here, I'm just removing all the hardware so I can clean and scuff sand my piece. If you're planning to reuse the hardware or save it for another project, just be sure to put it in a separate container or baggie so you don't misplace any of the parts. To clean this piece, I am using some dish soap and water that I've already mixed in a spray bottle. I'm going to spray it a good amount and then I'm going to go over a few times with clean water to get rid of any soap residue. After showing Marcella some pieces on Instagram, she decided to have the top be natural and the rest of the body painted. So here I'm just sanding the top of the nightstand and the dresser. I helped her a little bit by showing her some finished pieces from other artists, but ultimately she picked the color and the hardware for this makeover. I used 120 grit sandpaper for the top and 220 to scuff sand the rest of the piece. So I ended up staining the top of the dresser and the nightstands with Minwax stain in the shade Natural and I did two coats. I personally don't really like the stain on this type of wood but she wanted the top to stay uh, as light as possible so I did what my client wanted and let me tell you she is one tough client. So Marcella picked a beautiful green called Veneer Passage from the company Bear. This is their um, Chuck paint line and if you guys haven't used this paint, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it performs well and the price point is very, very affordable. I will use a mister to help my brush glide better and to minimize any brush strokes.
So after I finished working with the nightstand, I started prepping the dresser for basically the same thing. The only difference is that instead of brushing on my paint, I'm going to be using my sprayer for this. Marcella ended up picking some hardware that was not going to fit in the existing holes so I had to fill them up with Bondo. I let the filler dry for about 30 minutes and went back with my sander to smooth out any residue. If you make repairs, make sure to use a primer to keep a consistent texture. Otherwise, it will show through the paint where you made those repairs and it looks ugly. So here is where I realized that I love this paint. I love it because it sprays on beautifully. I love it because it's not super expensive and it looks great. I really do recommend you guys use this paint. And this is how the drawers look after their first coat with the sprayer. And this is how the rest of the piece looks like. And we are almost done. I'm going to go ahead and spray my top coat three times for good protection and durability. Don't forget to sand with super fine sandpaper between coats to have a smooth buttery finish. Now here I'm just putting all the drawers back into the dresser and I'm going to do one final top coat throughout the entire dresser. Now you guys are going to have to forgive me, I did not stage this project, I didn't have enough time. My husband is going to be deployed soon and I wanted to spend as much time as possible with him. And um, this piece is also really, really big and I didn't have enough room to move it around and stage it. I promise you though that the next piece I do will be staged. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you have any comments or questions, just go ahead and put them down below. And I'll see you guys next time for another furniture flip. Bye-bye.